Hey writers, I am Karina Akavane and this is Writing Group Recap, the weekly show where I go over all of the key points that I discussed in my Marin County Writers Group in five minutes or less so that you can get all the vital information that you need to get right back to writing. So let's get started. <laughs> This week we talked about writing prompts. Writing prompts are those things that you use when you have run out of creativity, you've run out of ideas, you maybe have some writer's block and you're trying to get those creative juices flowing again. So you throw out a bunch of hypothetical situations or odd situations, ideas, what if statements that get you thinking again and writing things. But it's not enough to just use writing prompts that you might find on Instagram, for example, or that you might find on Pinterest, it's full of them. But you need to do something, if you're writing a book, like most of my writing group students are, um, you're going to want to use a writing prompt that is a little bit more specific to your actual work. So something that is called a contextual writing prompt, i.e. a writing prompt that is in the context of your particular novel. So I had my students looking at that sort of thing. So let's go over a few of the different writing prompts that I had them working on this week and I will explain why and how those things work uh, as I introduce them. So the first kind of writing prompt I did was I gave them five minutes to write an introductory sentence to their whole entire book. This was useful and it will be useful for you because it gets you thinking differently about how you can possibly start your book. So many people don't know where to start. You want to start someplace that's kind of intriguing or interesting or shocking or you know where the stakes are already high or where you jump right into the novel. And coming up with a unique first sentence is a great way of doing that. Second kind of writing prompt that I had them do was your character runs into someone from their past. And that's really useful because it helps to introduce a secondary character or somebody who's going to move the action along. It's also going to tell you quite a lot about your character, how they've changed since their past and show the things that they're trying to show or hide from other people. So it's an interesting interaction and you can also reveal some of the backstory in a very organic fashion by doing this. The third type of writing prompt that I had my students write was to write a setting in two different times or from two different points of view. So for example, one character can look at a place and think, oh, this is so wonderful and describe it in glowing terms and the other character is going to see it very, very differently. Or maybe the setting is a place that was familiar to a character and they return to it and things have changed. So this can definitely move your novel along. I recommend doing this kind of repeatedly in terms of comparing things. So comparing interactions between people, comparing different iterations of a setting, and that will show you how things have changed. It will help build both your character arc and the arc of your plot. The last little thing that I had them write in terms of writing plot was your character finds something valuable, to them at least, that they thought they had lost. That also moves your action forward. It shows a lot of things about your character. What had they lost? Why was it important to them? And how is that going to enter into the story and be important to the plot in a general sense? So it kind of moves everything along again and you can see how your character would be, you know, what they've been hiding or what they've lost or how they've lost control. It's a really interesting way of looking at things. Um, I had a few others, which was explore your character's biggest regret or the time that they did something that didn't uh, go with their value system. Uh, that was another fun one. And I'm sure that you can think of a few more, but as you do these, make sure that you keep them along with the rest of your novel. These are not just an exercise that's up there in the ether. These are definitely going to be going into your plot and you'll be able to use them later. But that's it, you guys. I hope this was helpful. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And in the meantime, keep on writing.